So this is the world's smallest smartphone gimbal. It claims to be multiple products all in one, a three axis smartphone gimbal, a wireless phone charger, a tripod, but also claims to have AI facial recognition and body tracking technology. But can it though? Can it really do all that? Let's find out. It's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video, and today we're talking all about this thing. This is the PowerVision S1, the world's smallest smartphone gimbal. The perfect companion for your smartphone, apparently, but what can it actually do, and is it any good? Now, full disclosure, PowerVision sent me this to test and review, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run through its features, show you the results, tell you what I like about it, tell you what I don't like about it, and then it's up to you. You can make up your own mind as to whether you think it's any good or not. So look, let's jump straight into this video. Video and I'll show you how this thing works. The gimbal. Okay, so let's turn this thing into a three axis gimbal. Here's what you gotta do. Open the door like this, pull this bit out, and then we twist the top like that. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the first time I tried to do that, it felt like I was trying to solve a puzzle, but once you do it a few times, I promise you it becomes much easier. Also, another thing worth mentioning is that this gimbal comes in a range of colors. There's black, blue, and green. I got sent this blue one, but I love the look of the black version. Black just seems a bit more premium and professional, but it's great that you get a choice. Now, here are two of my favorite things about this gimbal. The first is that at the bottom here, we have a quarter inch thread. Now, this is quite common with gimbals these days. This just allows you to screw things on, like this tripod here, for example. Now, a tripod like this is going to give you maximum stability, but what if you don't want to have to carry around something Think this big. What if you want to be a bit more lightweight? Well, this gimbal comes with a tripod built into the bottom. If I just pull out this leg like this and this leg here and then unfold this, we now have the ability to stand our gimbal up without the need of having to carry around a tripod like this. Yes, of course, this one's gonna be more stable, but if you just need to put your gimbal on a flat surface like this table, for example, this is more than sufficient. I really like that about this gimbal. Now, my second favorite thing about this gimbal is how you attach the phone to the gimbal because we've got a couple of options. Now, usually with smartphone gimbals, you only get one option. Take this gimbal here, for example. This gimbal has the universal clamp method. You need to pull open the clamp, place your phone inside, and then clamp it down. You then need to make micro adjustments to balance the gimbal. I mean, not particularly difficult, just faffy, clunky, and annoying, but the S1 offers a magnetic phone case. And for me, this is a total game changer because now your phone just snaps on and it's perfectly balanced. I don't even need to touch it. It's way easier, it's way quicker, it's way more efficient. All gimbals should have this feature. Now, if for whatever reason you're not sold on the magnetic phone case and you just wanna use the one that you have, then that's no problem at all because they also offer a universal clamp magnetic attachment. Phone will just slot in like this and then attach to your gimbal. So great to have these options. But look, I think I've talked about it enough. Let's head outside, fire this thing up and see what it can do. Okay, so I've come out here to Dartmoor National Park in the southwest of England to test this thing out and see what it's capable of. Now, this gimbal comes with an app available on both Android and iOS and claims to have AI auto tracking abilities. So let's test that out in a number of different scenarios. Okay, for our first test, let's just keep things really simple, nice and basic and use a static focal point. This tree should do nicely. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna enable auto tracking by tapping on this button here. I'm now gonna drag I can create a box around my focal points like this. Now, hopefully the camera will remain locked on to my focal point. Let's hit record. I'm now gonna to start to walk around the tree to see how well the auto tracking stays locked on to my focal point. Now, this isn't going to be a test of smoothness because I'm walking through ferns and over rocks. This is a test of how well the camera remains locked on to the tree. Now, I'm not moving the camera at all here. It's doing it all by itself. I'm just gonna do an orbit shot all the way around this tree and keep going. You be the judge of this, okay? As far as I can see, it seems to be doing a pretty good job of keeping this tree in the center of frame. I'm walking quite far away now. I'm probably completely out of shot. Now, let's walk back again see how well it does. Now, the more defined your focal point is, the easier the AI will find it to lock onto. There's quite a lot of distraction around this tree, so this is a pretty good test of its capabilities, but as far as I can see, 
it seems to be doing a pretty good job. But again, look, you be the judge. This is just test number one, but so far, so good. So that was how the gimbal performs on a static subject, but what about a moving one? Now, I'm shooting solo today, so I've got no one to help me out with these tests, but fortunately, Dartmoor is full of wildlife. So I'm hoping that one of this lot is gonna help me out. Okay, so let's enable auto tracking and highlight this fella here, hit record, and let's start to walk towards. Hopefully he'll move and we can test out the tracking on this thing. He's pretty still at the moment. Tracking seems to be working. Do you mind just moving over there just so I can test out this gimbal? Is that okay? Is it? Do you mind? Can you walk over that way a bit? No? <laughs> Okay, now in all honesty, animals probably aren't the easiest things to track, so let's try something a little bit more reliable. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've placed the gimbal on this grass bank using the tripod. I'm gonna to attempt to auto track this car here in the background and then drive it through the shot. Hopefully, the gimbal will lock onto that car and track it as it goes. Let's find out. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to enable auto tracking. Let's select the car like this okay we're locked on hit record okay here we go this is the test will the gimbal track the car and remain locked on start her up let's find out okay here we go just start slow is it tracking is it locked on it is it's working okay okay that's great right let's just reverse Let's do that again. I want to go through a bit quicker. Are we still locked on? Yes! Okay, 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 right, here we go, here we go. Let's give it a bit more welly. We're locked on, yes! I love that! I tell you what, if you're a solo shooter looking to add some movement to your shots, this is a great way of doing that. Now, when out filming on location like I am today, trying to find a power supply to charge your phone or any equipment for that matter can be a giant pain in the ass. But the beauty of this gimbal is that it's also a power bank. You can wirelessly charge your phone or any other equipment via its USB-C port. A total lifesaver on locations like this. Now, the gimbal itself has up to 15 hours battery life, so plenty of juice left over for any other devices. So those were some of the features that the PowerVision S1 has to offer, but how does it actually perform when it comes to shooting smooth cinematic looking footage. Well, I'm gonna spend the next 15 minutes at this location capturing some typical gimbal shots, some jibs, some sliders, some low rider shots. Then I'm gonna edit all of that footage into a short sequence using music, color grading and sound effects to see what results we get. So what do you think? It's not bad, right? I was actually quite impressed with how smooth that footage looks. So what are my thoughts on the world's smallest smartphone gimbal? Let's talk pros and cons. Well, the first thing I really like about this is its size and its weight and its strength. It's not all 
floppy and clunky like other gimbals. I really like the magnetic connect feature. It's easier, it's quicker, it's more efficient, and it's just better than the clamp alternative. It not only charges your phone as well as other camera gear, the battery life is incredible, and I really love the power follow feature. This is not only practical, but really fun to use and great if you're a solo shooter, and it does all of that and easily fits in your pocket. Now, what don't I like about this gimbal and how can it be improved? Now, for me, there was one thing that really stood out about this gimbal, which I'd love to see improved, and that is the tilt axis. This is as far as the gimbal will tilt down, and this is as far as the gimbal will tilt up. I'd love to see more maneuverability with the gimbal's tilt axis. I've talked about this on this channel before. The more maneuverability you have with your tilt axis, the more options you have when it comes to camera angles and movements. So who is this gimbal for? Well, it's for anyone looking for more than just a gimbal. If you're looking for a product that doesn't just sit on your shelf all week until the next time you go out and shoot video, then this is a really good option. It's for anyone looking for something small, compact, that can easily fit in your pocket. Great for anyone making travel videos or vlogs, maybe you work a nine to five and spend a lot of time on video calls, this would make a great companion to your smartphone. And look, I've got to be honest, what I love most about this is just the thought process. This is more than just a gimbal, like this one here. This is just a gimbal, except it's bigger, it's heavier, it's more clunky, and it's harder to carry around, whereas this is smaller and it does so much more. So well done PowerVision for creating such an innovative product. I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed. They've also sent me a promo code where you can redeem an exclusive discount via their store. I will link that below. And look, if you found this video useful, do let me know by giving it the old thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, learn more about video production, you can do that by watching one of my other videos just over there. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.